the world doesn't see is the internal frame of you letting pride and pettiness divide you. You can't be both petty and faithful at the same time. You will love one and hate the other. Running a thread of pettiness through a blanket of sheer beauty will fray not only the quilt's design, but it will shred the quilter's joy. And we are always the quilter. <coughs> now that all eyes drop back in the place from rolling them at Paul, I understand, I did the same thing. Let's take the Bible seriously. Even might I suggest literally. And suggest maybe Paul's on to something by reframing what's big and what's little in the Bible. Unity, it's not uniformity. Unity isn't about always agreeing. Unity is looking like shining together as constellations of stars in the sky. That this world and city needs to see the church being together at all times. The world needs the church, but the world needs the church at its best quilted together faith that cannot be unframed. There is nothing better than the best of the church working together to be joy and light into the world. And friends, there's almost nothing worse than the worst of the church in the world. Be the best of it, never the worst. And when we are, it looks like a quilted melange of beautifully gifted Christians working together so long and so hard they would never let a little sin like pettiness or complaining or grumbling tear down what God has so divinely sewn together. I'm going to do better at this because my Bible says I don't have a choice. You should join me. And when we do, our joy will be even more complete. And there will be more joy in our faith and in our churches together. In the name of Christ we say, Amen. <coughs> our hymn of commitment, if you would please rise, is number 625. 625 verses 1 and 4. Please stand.